I miss having that ability, everybody, where you can pick stuff up and throw it, and you can shoot hoops and stuff from Fallout 4. That's what that uh, highlight was right there. Uh, very cool. Uh, we want to go ahead and, uh, what am I doing? I'm quitting the desktop. Not playing. No, no, no. Quit the desktop. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and get this going on, everybody. I'm going to bring my backdrop up. There we go. All right, actually, while I'm loading that, let's do a battle. To battle! All right, loading up breakwaters. Uh, let's do a battle, everybody. Get you guys some loot. Let's go. How many units? 73 units. Now you guys are firing it up. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, we're gonna just gonna take a little bit anyway. It's gotta do an update. I knew I forgot to do something. I forgot to run the update. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do the other day. I forgot. Whoa, that's a lot of units. Holy mackerel. We just annihilated a bunch of them. They still have as many units as us. Oh, oh, my bad. There it is. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Akia, for being on point there. There's a thousand kids caps. I was watching over there. I wasn't watching it. I, this is my LBS over here. I was watching the battle over there. I could see the battle. You guys couldn't. Uh, thank you for that. Appreciate it. On point. Wombat coming in as well. Thank you very much, Wombat. Uh, for having my back. Again, if you guys do those commands at the right time, uh, my subs, I give a thousand kiss caps to everybody in the chat. Uh, when I make a mistake, you guys benefit. Uh, Subi, Paul, uh, Lord Nubus coming in. Get some love. Rotisserie G as our MVP. Oh, man. He just needed one more unit. I want to give him a thousand kiss caps for that as well. But no worries. 16 uh, kills. Uh, actually tied with Subi. Uh, also, uh, we're going to call you both our MVP this route. Very nice. Bam! All right. How many uh, much time we got left here? Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get a few more battles in here. Uh, let's go right there. All right. How are we looking on time? Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll try to get another battle in. I, I might go battle mode. I can't remember if my battle mode uh, is working right now because I did change the way that all of my uh, overlays work. Oh, it dawned on me that maybe I don't have battle mode. Yeah, we might have to do that next week. Yeah, yeah, I might have to do that next week because uh, I don't think that's ready uh, for prime time yet. Uh, all right, speaking of ready for prime time, this one is ready for prime time. Uh, Breakwaters, let's go. All right, here we go, everybody, loading into Breakwaters. Now, so again, now I wonder if I should start from scratch or if I just play my world I got right now. Oh, let's just try to play the world that I've already had from before uh, and see what we got. Uh, and let's also pull up the uh, the updates. Breakwaters uh, update. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go look at this new update. Where is it at? Do they have the patch notes somewhere? Ah, huh, good question, good question. Uh, where is our patch notes? Uh, Blackstone, stone patch notes. Uh, da, 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 da. Point oh five changes. Is that what version we're in? Uh, uh I should have looked. Hold on, let's go back out. Go out to the main menu and see what version we're in. Am I on the right version? No. Uh, how do you know? Settings. Now. Yeah. How do I know what version it is? Worlds. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh April 13th. That's about right. So 0.5. Oh, here we go. I found it. Alright, I found it on Steam DB. Uh, all right, so, uh, this came out on April 13th, uh, it was like last week we were trying to get in here and play this, 
uh, set up black metal rocks, uh, change metal doors to swing the same direction, created black stone walls, pillars, doors, adjusted build costs of axes, swords, and bows, all sorts of stuff. Uh, now, what we were doing uh, when we left off last time, now, I've never seen this game, everybody. It's called Breakwaters, and the water simulation in this game is phenomenal. Uh, let's walk down here and just take a quick look. Now, as you can notice that the water is pretty much gone, right? Well, what happens is uh, it surges just like real water does. Uh, and over time, this actually, this water will fill back in again and go back up again. It can actually affect the way that the water works as well uh, by uh, actually putting down and throwing down. Uh, oh, here it comes. It fill it back in uh, and throwing down like certain things that affect the water, right? So you can create paths in the water. Uh, you can go in and uh, try to find hidden treasure under the water as well. Oh, look at it go. See it surging and now I'm swimming in the water, all right? So cool. I love the surging effect. I think it's got probably the best water simulation I've seen uh, in pretty much any game. Just so incredibly great. Now there's different islands uh, that we can go to. Now we started on this other island over here. Uh, I think it was, uh, which one? The Crestal Cove Tropical. We ended up on Laughing Reef. Now, there's actually a whole quest line and story to all of this. Uh, and I'm over here on uh, Canalipai uh, Village. Well, look, even there, look, it surged even higher. Even me sitting on that rock. So it surged up pretty high. Now, you want to know the highest, uh, the highest, the highest uh, surge uh, level. Look at that. See it all? It's a whole underwater now. Uh, so that you know where uh, you want to build your base. You obviously don't want to build your base down there where it's going to surge. And I've done it before, uh, where the water is going to surge up and then flood your base. So I've got all of these resources uh, that I have brought over here, right? Wood and uh, iron and all this kind of cool stuff uh, right over here. Uh, the the uh, actual little piggies here are uh, bringing me some poop. Uh, now, the poop actually is part of your uh, crafting. You can go ahead and craft up a bunch of stuff here. Now, apparently, they've added a bunch of new crafting stuff, so we got to find our bench out there. Uh, and, of course, I've crafted myself up a backpack and all sorts of other stuff uh, as well. Uh, so let's see if we've got anything new that I can... Oh, black metal armor. Black metal backpack. Ah, those things I haven't done yet. Uh, what else? Steel swords. Ah, uh, there we go. Water barrels, water systems. We've done a bit of this stuff. We haven't done our uh, higher steel crate. or Well, we have. No, we've unlocked it. And our black metal crate. Uh, this right here, I didn't even know this was a thing. Uh, you can take uh, your torches, uh, your crystal torches, and put them down. And actually, they act as a water barrier, uh, bringing that water uh, out of there. Uh, first time playing this? No, 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 no. You can see I, I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, not my first time. Uh, I, we played this uh, multiple times on stream. Uh, very, very good. Uh, we're taking a look at what's changed. Uh, so created a black metal axe. Uh, so now we have a black metal axe. I didn't even see that. Uh, where is it? Oh, I bet you it's in the uh, in the other benches. Let's go take a look in these other benches uh, over here. Uh, refinery. Oh, black metal there. Yes, yeah, so we can refine black metal. Uh, don't see anything else over there. Uh, let's go look here in our forge. Oh, yeah, there we go. Black metal axe right there. Uh, very cool. Black metal sword as well. All right, so they've added black metal. We're able to add all of that uh, in there. Uh, black metal arrows as well, I see. Uh, what else? Uh, black metal. Oh, okay, so they uh, created the black metal arrow. They created the black metal axe and the bow uh, and also the steel arrow. Uh, change steel crate slot counts to align better with the new black metal crate slots. Okay, so they changed the uh, slot amount around. Uh, let's see. Uh, set up iron armor. Uh, combat related. Set up NPC death ragdolls. Create grenade NPC and armor variant NPC. Set up pirates with melee and bow weapons to have a range kickback attack. Improved NPC movement logic, improved uh, NPC bow logic to have better runaway and kickback logic. Fix a bug where the NPC could be too close to the player and decide not to attack them. Uh, abort attack from knockback on NPC to have random chance. Uh, that won't always happen. All right, improved Mega Golem combat logic. Uh, set up new pirate random loot drop uh, logic. Oh, man, all sorts of good stuff in here. Lots of damage, improved NPC. A lot of NPC improvements there. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, improved chicken ragdolls so they don't uh, roll across the world forever. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, there we go. And reduce the golem health. All right. Set up glider boat as a new boat the players can create. Set up uh, drafts for glider boats to catch and extend their glide length. Uh, they spawn over ocean rocks. Fix crop plant spawning with 100% health instead of 2 health after save load. Uh, dirt fields. They've changed. Wow, wow, this patch note is massive, everybody. I'm not going to read all of this. This is really, this is really massive here. Uh, I'm just going to... Oh, oop, I didn't mean to do that. Click the wrong button back over here. Uh, I'm just going to throw these patch notes in the chat because there's a lot of stuff. Uh, but the main thing we want to look at is the flying boat. Right? We want to go check out the flying boat, but there's the link to the patch notes. Uh, let's see. Do I got my gems on me? I do. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves a boat flare. We need to get some fire uh, coral. Uh, let's just see if we have any laying around. Uh, don't hit my box. Uh, fire coral. No, mushroom coral there. Not fire coral. Uh, and again, we're just coming back after uh, uh, after a bit. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff backlogged. There's some right there. Uh, let's put that in our inventory. And we're going to go ahead and throw ourselves a boat flare. Uh, all right, let's get our boat flare in the, the slots down here. We'll take our hammer out real quick. Actually, we could have just taken this out. There we go. Uh, all right, so now what we need to do is we need to go out into the deeper water, and when we get out in deep enough water, we can call ourselves a little friend, uh, which is going to take us back. Look at the uh, storms going on. Uh, and right now, uh, we can see the water depth is uh, 8 of 15. So we just need to swim out here until the water depth uh, gets lower. Now it's actually getting, uh, I mean, getting higher. This is actually getting lower. Now, if you swim too far, uh, little sharks come and eat you. So watch out for that. Uh, we're going to run out here and get it going on. Apparently, we've chosen the spot. <laughs> Apparently, does not get any deeper. Uh, man, we got to get way out here. All right, here we go. Come on. We got this. Oh, I think it's going down right there. I don't know. We're working on it. We don't want to go to that tower over there. We don't want to get hit. That's actually getting less. It's actually going up because there's a uh, landing right here. And the water is receding. Uh, don't worry. We got to get way out here away from this island and it should be fine. Yeah, here we go. Now we're going into the deep water. There we go. All right. We'll call our buddy up. Now we use our little crystals uh, to call our little friend uh, who's going to help us uh, right here. He's got a cool submarine. Uh, very, very cool. Now, you can also uh, talk to this guy, and you can also uh, shop with the guy, but I'm going to travel, uh, and I want to travel back to Crystal Cove, and here we go. So instead of me getting in my boat and traveling back and forth, I can just get uh, a ride from this guy, uh, and he's got a submarine. Now, you watch out if you go too close to those towers, because those towers will shoot at you. There's a bunch of pirate towers to try to kill you. Uh... And so, I'm going to go ahead and ride back here. Now, my food and water's looking good right now. My health's looking pretty good. Uh, so, we're going to make our way back uh, to our other base. Now, this one's kind of my uh, uh, old primary base. And I've been trying to move my primary base over here. But I'm a little tempted uh, to start again, uh, as I always do uh, in early access games. I, I have a tendency to start over uh, to see what's new, right? So, you play it through again. You might discover something uh, in the new uh, patch notes. But in this case, we want to go look at the flying boat and see if we can get the flying boat working. I feel like we can get the flying boat working. We're going to be uh, doing well. Now, this is usually way faster than you going over there because this guy's going to go full speed, uh, even against the wind, because he's got a submarine. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool submarine action going on. Oh, look at you guys super looting over there. Getting that loot. Please don't open any doors while we are submerged. Duh. Doy. Now, another cool thing is when you're doing this, by the way, also he feeds and uh, feeds you and also gives you uh, a drink so that uh, your food and water Ooh, go all the way up. Huh. You can tell I've only had three hours of sleep today. Uh, yeah, so your food and water goes all the way up. Wow, that hit me like, wow, that hit me like, all of a sudden it was like, 
like a power down. Like I told you, everybody, I'm a bit older, so my my uh, battery only goes about 60 percent. And then when it gets about 30 percent, it starts to it starts to shut down. Well, we're going to get over here and we're going to uh, do it. Uh oh, we're going to go right by these guys over here. Now, they actually do shoot at us. I've noticed that here in the submarine. We get close enough. They'll actually start shooting at the submarine or they're really shooting at me. We'll see what happens. Again, look at the water simulation. Isn't that amazing how the water, you can see that the water is getting pushed, right? And then you're creating a wake behind you. Oh, yeah, look at it go. I've yet to make it to one of those towers. Okay, we're almost there. So I love all the effects. Too. I love the water effects. I love all the cloud effects that they do. Uh, remember, again, this early access is still working away on it. Uh, and so far, they're doing a good job. I've tried to play the multiplayer, but uh, uh, the multiplayer was uh, 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 somewhat unstable. So I'm just solo playing right now. Eventually, I'd love to get like a server for uh, Breakwaters. We all play together. That would be fun. And then we go out and we all got our different ships and we're like, you know, battling against all the baddies. Uh, that would be very fun. All right, here we are at Crystal Cove. Again, in my next playthrough, I'm going to build my bases wherever these guys drop me off. And there we go. All shores going to shore except for him. All right, I am ashore. Now I got to remember where the heck my base is. Look at all this. Look at all this. See, all the water's receded, so I could get all of these resources right now. Uh, yeah, see, we got our yellow gem over there. Oh, baddies popping out of the thing there. Whoa, another one on the left. Look out. This is the uh, thing that we power up. Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. Wait, no, I wanted to go to Laughing Wreath. Wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, but I'll show you some of the mechanics here. Uh, I totally went to the wrong island. Uh, I wonder why it took a little longer. See these little ch things here? They're actually repelling the water. This is all full-on Moana going on right now. Look at that. Uh, isn't that amazing? I think it's just awesome. I love anything to do with water anyway, but super cool that you've got that kind of water repelling effect uh, going on from these yellow crystals. And you can craft stuff like little bottles that you can throw in there and you can cause it to repel the water uh, as well. Now we're going to need to uh, get off the island here. So we're going to need to uh, find out where the heck I put all my stuff uh, on here originally. I got a bunch of stuff laying around somewhere. I think it's over here. One of those islands over that way. Where am I? At? Yeah, this way. We might have some stuff we need, or we go around and collect it. Here's our NPC. Now, I haven't really done any of the quest line because I'm such a slacker. I did a little bit here in the beginning, uh, but not that much quest line in here. And I left a bunch of stuff over here, but I don't know if I left the right stuff over here is a real question. Uh, I do have a little bit of fire coral on me. Enough to make another one? No, I need one more. All right, we got to find some fire coral. Look at, look at him hopping. <laughs> He's doing a little hoppy, hoppy, hoppy thing. Uh, all right, let's get out here. Ah. Get some of that tree sap. All right, what we got to do is find some fire coral right here. All right, we're good. Ba bow ba bow ba bow Grab that fire coral. I can kill those guys. Those guys aren't that hard. Uh, but I don't like to waste my time. I'm going to go and do a boat flare. And we're going to go ahead and do this again. Put this down here. Press number three and try to get out here into the depths. Look at those fish. Get those fish. Almost there. Gotta swim way out here. There we go. 
All right, my bad. We went to the wrong one. I went to Crystal Cove. That's why it took so long to get there. Because we literally went right past the island we wanted to go to. We wanted to go to Laughing Reef is where we want to go. Now, I have like 345 things just on my character, let alone who knows how many other uh, things that I've got laying around. Uh, so, again, we want to go to Laughing Reef. That's the one we want. Uh, go. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Travel, Laughing Reef. Travel, all right. Laughing Reef. All right, let's go to the correct island. Uh, this island's the starter island where you first start off the game. Whoa, we could actually see under the water. Do a little clipping there. A little clipping to see uh, the boat under the water. Whoa, look at that cool effect. Like V, it's like a V wake. Get me a sea do and go go off of those. I've actually jump wakes many times. Uh, many times in my life when you're not supposed to jump wakes, I do it anyway. <laughs> just don't have the Coast Guard uh, bust you. Uh, just don't do it in front of the Coast Guard, you're fine. In fact, don't do it. I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> Uh, again, you're, those are your choices. They're all on you. But uh, yeah, I've done a lot of kneeboarding, uh, jet skiing, um, all that kind of fun stuff. Or what's known as sea doing. See, jet ski is where you're standing. Uh, and then you can go under the water and do all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, sea do is like when you sit on it, like a motorcycle. And you're up on top of the water. And then you're just driving it around uh, without having that. When, whenever you stop a jet ski, it goes down into the water. And so you go into the water uh, as well. Unlike a sea dew, which you could just sit on it because it's like a boat. Uh, you just sit on the top of it and it just floats on top of the water. Uh, very, very different things. All right, here we go. Laughing Reef. I see my base right over there. Thanks, bro. Take it easy. All right, we good. Now, I already built a boat dock over here, which is the whole reason why I'm coming over here, is to go ahead and take a look at that flying boat. I'm uh, going to check it out. Now, this is a learn-to-play session, everybody. So if you do have uh, some suggestions, ideas, you see I got a little hut I made over there. Uh, feel free to throw them in the chat. I don't mind uh, whenever I'm playing uh, games like this that are in early access and stuff like that. Something's sitting over here. What do I got sitting here? Uh, boat repair kit. Pick that up. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. Uh, we got the, ah, uh, the hawk here. Okay, what do we need? Oh, we need black metal for the hawk. Now, question is, how do we get that black metal? Uh, oh, look at all this cool stuff in here. See, some of this stuff I've never even done, like boat armor and things like that. Again, when I'm playing early access games, I don't try to play it out uh, where... Um, uh, yeah, well, I think we got the Explorer right now. Eventually, we want to get our Traveler, but we want to get our Hawk, too. Uh, how do we get black metal? Good question. Uh, let's go back over here and check our things and see what it takes to make black metal. Let's go take a look. Over here. And you can see I've got all my various stuff uh, going over here. Oh, that's not it. We need our refinery. There we go. Uh, so black metal. What the heck was that? Uh, eat some food. Uh, I think I'm fine. I need to eat some food. No, my fine, my food's fine. I just came from the ship. The ship just gave me food and water. Uh, that's kind of an illusion effect down there. I actually got to go all the way around uh, the other side, I think. I shouldn't have been out of food. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm out of food. Uh, because uh, when you go on that boat, it uh, gives you food and water. Okay, so we got to find some black stone. Uh, we got to find that black stone. Now, I wonder if there's any black stone on this island. Uh huh. See, look at all these missions I've I've uh, done a few, but uh, there's uh, so many more I haven't done. So, black stone. Let's just go run around real quick and just take a little look. This guy's over here. Creating a bunch of resources. 
Blackstone. All right, we got uh, this guy. Let's try to take out a baddie and see what happens. Let's get our hammer. Get wrecked. Nothing. All right, awesome. And then this was a bad guy over here. He uh, was doing this. I we, I learned just at the end of last time is that we can take these tiki torches here. Uh, you know what? Let's run back to our base. Uh... Let's go ahead and take this tiki torch back to our base here. If I can remember where the heck my base was. Out here somewhere. Out here along the beach. Yeah, there it is. I'm actually running the correct direction. Amazing that I actually remember what direction my base was. Uh, let's go ahead and get this going. Oh, because the water was flashing? Yeah, the water was flashing because I'm running. I'm holding down the shift key uh, and running. But watch this. This is really cool. Uh, again, this is one of my favorite parts of the game is this uh, awesome water simulation that they have uh, going on. And so we're going to move the Tiki Torch down here. We're going to put it down right there. Boom. Oh, there just happens to be a chest right there, too. Wow. Uh, talk about lucky, everybody. I had no idea that chest was there. But see how it repels the water like that? And then if I go ahead and I uh, uh, decide to pick it up here. Oh, not, no. Boom. See how the water fills back in again. Isn't that neat? I think that's uh, genius. I Again, I had no clue that that thing was there, everybody. I had no clue. And boom. Then we move it over here. Boom. Uh, and someone let me know that you can actually just create a path of these, right? You create a path. Uh, if you're trying to go from one island to another or whatnot, uh, I think that's just awesome. What a great, uh, great idea. A great game mechanic, I think. Uh, brilliant, brilliant idea. Now, another thing, too, is you could, in theory, protect your base over here uh, by repelling any water that would come up towards your base like that and hold the water at bay, right? Uh, so if you, you know, you're trying to protect your base against the water rising... Uh, you could basically put those around your base and protect it, I would think, or in your base. Uh, so there you go. So very cool. All right, I like that. Uh, Want to go in and uh, figure out. Uh, let's just drink some water here, too. Oh, stop doing that. Uh, let's figure out if we can make some more uh, walls. Because I saw there were stone walls. I got to remember where we make our walls at. One of these benches. Nope, that's a food bench. Yeah, I'm playing too much Planet Crafter, everybody. So I left click to open the thing, and it's not left click; it's E. Uh, all right, let's go look at our walls. Uh, where was our? I think it was here. Uh, oh yeah, look at all these stone walls. Yeah, stone door, black, uh, large, uh, uh, large stone door, red. Yeah, these are all new here. Uh, for sure. Uh, and then, of course, we made a bunch of stuff here. And we've got fences in here, too. Bamboo fences we could be making uh, to hold in some of these mobs. Uh, so a bunch of stuff there. But we got to go on an adventure here and see if we can find some uh, black metal. Uh, anybody know in the chat where we can find some black metal? You just go ahead and tell me. It's okay. Uh, again, we're doing a learn to play here. Uh, we'll go run around and see if we can find some. You can see we got a big old beam firing out up here. Uh, now, if you haven't seen them yet, everybody, uh, there are these gigantic uh, mobs that I have yet to take on yet. Uh, but you can see it's shooting out this beam. And that beam, luckily it doesn't cut me in half, uh, is uh, aiming out in this direction. And we can kind of take a look at which way is it aiming. It's aiming toward the Invisible Cove Tropical uh, over that way. And so you kind of power that up with water. Obviously, this is a very uh, water-oriented game. Uh, and it's shooting out over that way. Now, out here, there's some big, gigantic titan somewhere. I don't see him right now. What is this? What is this good little glowiness? 
keep these crystals. Blue crystals. Now, I made myself a hammer here. The hammer goes much faster, obviously, than the other one's going to go. And each of these crystals do a different thing uh, based on their color uh, as well. So that's beaming way out there. I don't can't remember if he's on this island. I think there's one actually on this island somewhere. Uh, let's go see if we can find him. Oh, we're looking for some uh, black metal. Ah, stuck. Limeys. Well, there's something over here. Let's see what kind of stuff we get here. Iron ore. That's just an iron ore one. Hey, I, iron ore, a uh, little iron ore is better than no iron ore. Again, where's this big guy at? He's around here somewhere. Oh, right here, too. There he is! Ah! Ah, hide! Oh, well, thanks for uh, getting that for me, bro. Thanks for uh, opening that up. Oh, there's another little one. Run away. Run away. Now, the ultimate goal is to take that guy on. Uh, but he's a big boy, everybody. He is a big, big boy. Uh, we out. But wanted to show you the giant guy. Now, this little guy here, this guy I can take on. And I find if you use the hammer, it actually uh, does more damage to him. And sometimes they drop stuff and sometimes they don't. He's ragdolling all over the place. You kind of wait for him to go poof to see if he drops anything. Nah, I just disappeared. Uh, but I don't think I've ever tried to kill this guy. Let's go try it. Screw it. Let's go. Whoa! Oh, ouch! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna die. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Run away. Run far, far away. Light of sight, light of sight, light of sight. Run away, run away, light of sight. Run away. <laughs> ah, he likes me. He likes me a little too much. Line of sight, left, right. Slimes, run. Run, I'm going to run out of stamina. Ah, whoa, he threw down water that time. Uh, uh oh, I made him very, very angry. Now, again, I'm trying to purposely stay behind the trees here. Uh, try to stay behind the rocks. Oh, God, he really likes me. He's following me wherever I go. I was hoping he was going to break off. I'm in big trouble. I'm in big trouble, little child. I'm out in the open. Quick, use a tree. Get behind a tree, line of sight. God, how, how'd you go through those trees? I call it hacks. Go into the forest. Hey, 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 he should be stopped by the trees. Oh, God, oh, God. Open it, open. Uh, you don't want to be in the open. Oh, he's trying to get me. Oh, he's trying to get me. He can keep up with me, too. This dude is fast. I feel death coming on, everybody. We'll do that battle here in a bit. Hold on. I'm trying to dodge this guy. Uh, where's that beam thing? I'll try to run toward the beam thing. Maybe we can wipe him out up here. Doesn't get me first. Yeah, I guess I could drag him over here and he can activate this thing. Come on, bro. What you got? You ain't got nothing. You got nothing. Oh, my God. You got something. You got a lot of something. Try to get him to throw down some water. Oh, yeah, he already did. Look at the water activated the beam. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Maybe I'll get this guy. Hey, guy, kill that guy for me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Drag him. Drag him on that poor guy. All right, I'm out. Still chasing me? No, he's not. All right. I don't think he's still chasing me now. But now he's over there. 
Now, eventually, you can build up weapons and whatnot and try to take them out. My little hammer uh, was uh, pitifully uh, doing very little. Uh, let's have some water. Uh, we need to go have some food to get our health back. Uh, man, where is my camp? I gotta find my camp. Oh, I can just look for it on the, uh, on the radar here. I have a feeling that guy's just gonna show up out of nowhere and be, like, at my camp. Uh, I did not want to drag him toward my camp, obviously, because I don't want him to destroy my camp. Um, uh, but... We'll go down here. So, yeah, I thought we could try to hit him a few times. He was barely taking any damage. Wee Sploosh! Barely taking any damage. All right, again, if you guys know where to get some uh, Black Rock, you guys let me know. You guys uh, let me know. All right, so let's go over here, and we're just going to pause for a second uh, so we can do this battle without uh, him suddenly showing up. To battle! Time to go to battle, everybody. Let's do it. Uh, let's go. There's a little side game we play called Stream Raiders, by the way, everybody, for those who've never seen this before. A very, very cool uh, little game. It's a free-to-play game. Uh, we are taking on 62 to 140 plus. Holy moly, it's going to be all-out battle royale right here. Oh, man. That's a lot of units. Holy moly. We're down to 50. They've got 60, though they're losing them like crazy because they're coming right into our range. Uh, we got to get our tanks back over here before they get to our range. Oh, we do got some peeps. We got some uh, uh, peeps there. I think we got them. Yeah, the Manus uh, coming in uh, with the Epic, uh, helping out a lot there. Uh, nice job. Wow. Putting some big numbers up as well. Uh, let's give you guys some love, uh, uh, Slip, uh, Paul, and DJ getting the love, and I also have a slide all the way to you guys, give you guys maximum loot, uh, May coming in with the big numbers, 24 kills on that one, uh, nice jobs, man, uh, crushing it, uh, big time, oh, man, we're getting this event fired up, oh, do we got time for some more, we got time, uh, 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 uh. good question, good question, uh, uh, what the heck? We'll go ahead and start another battle. Let's go ahead and get another one in, everybody. Yeah, I think I got to fill, uh, fix my battle mode thing. Wow, look how many units. Uh, I probably should go full-on tank on this one. Uh, this is a lot, a lot of units. Uh, hold on. Before I put my guy down, what do these things do? Uh, an elemental imbues units with the uh, attunement of water provides the following. Uh, uh, tax reduced uh, enemy damage by 30%. Gain 100% increased healing uh, received. Become uh, untargetable for three seconds on kill. Does 100% 100% increased damage to fire attuned units. Uh, all right. Well, hey, I'm gonna go try to grab one of those. Let's go. Boom. Uh, go right there. Try to grab one of those, and then run in there and let them wail on me while you guys get all the loot. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. All right, we're black, uh, black uh, ore abound. Uh, we gotta try uh, try to find some black ore to use uh, in our uh, camp here. Now I found some iron, uh, iron ore, but no black ore. Hmm. Hmm. Where would that black ore be? Good question. Uh, not builder's bench. We want refinery. Ah, wrong button. Uh, again, uh, we're looking for this black stone. We got the iron ore, but we don't have the black stone. Where will we get the black stone? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, let's see if it says it in the patch notes. Uh, existing worlds and characters should work fine in this update. Please let us know if you have any issues. Uh, some private worlds may not contain all of the new content. Creating a new world will ensure new existing content exists uh, if a previous world didn't get auto-upgraded to include it. Uh, oh, I might want to... I might want to go in and uh, create a new playthrough. Yeah. Oh, there's Black uh, Tower Bases. 
and pirate village bases uh, that will spawn in the world. Oh, so we might have to take on some of those towers to get the black metal uh, from the pirates. Oh, okay. So we might have to take on a tower. Now, I don't have the stuff, and I kind of feel like I should start over uh, just to make sure that my world is uh, got all the new stuff in it. Otherwise, I'm going to run around, and I'm not going to get any black metal because my world's messed up. Now, I'm never afraid to just go like this, everybody. Just straight up delete. Boom, dead. <laughs> Gone. Just like that. Uh, that world is out of there. Uh, also, we'll go in and delete my character as well, uh, just so we can start over. Uh, and then characters, new character, uh, name them the same thing. Again, remember, they're still working on the game uh, right now. Uh, let's go body one, skin one's good, hair's good. Uh, but we got to have that red hair, of course. Uh, cloud, charcoal. Eh, let's go with Barry. I like Barry. Uh, and create. There we go. All right, create a new character. Uh, and then we're going to create a new world. Uh, world 1. All right, sounds good. Uh, and then play. All right, so we'll start over here uh, just to try to uh, kind of walk through the game uh, a little bit more so you guys get a full feeling of Breakwaters here. Uh, now, this is a game I recommend. I think it's pretty awesome. If you like the water simulation and whatnot, now, I haven't really played it to the ump degree because they're still developing it. And whenever they're still developing a game, uh, I typically will play uh, very mellow uh, where I'm kind of going through just little by little. Let's talk to the guy. Oh, thank goodness. There's someone else on this island. I am an archaeologist studying the turtle titan uh, you see in the distance. I tracked it and a relic to this island. I feel like the relics and the titans must be related somehow. And of course, my guy responds with, huh? <laughs> um, berries and coconuts, help me find the relic and uncover the truth, and I will help you find a way off this island. Deal? Deal. Berries and coconuts. Uh, though, uh, before we do get to that, you look like you could use some food and water. I don't have much here, uh, but if you go gather some berries uh, from the bushes and coconuts from the palm trees on the island, you should find enough to hold you over. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Bow, bow, pow, 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 pow. <laughs> I had my own sound effects, everybody. Now, what's going to happen when you open up these bushes? You're going to have these little rats try to get you. You just knock them out. Now, you don't want to leave them down here because otherwise uh, a whole bunch of scary spiders are going to show up uh, and try to get you uh, as well. Oh, there's some coconuts there. Uh, and our food water is looking pretty good right now. Uh, oh, look, there's a there's a village on this island to start. Oh, see, that's new. That that was not there before. Are these pirates over here? What's over here? Is that a bad guy or a good guy? Let's go find out. We might have to punch him to death. Bad guy. Oh yeah. Oh, got yourself in a corner, bro. Got yourself in a corner as a ranged unit. Oh, look, he's got a knockback. Oh, ho, ho. you got owned, bro. You got owned. Uh, you got owned by a noob, too. That's really bad. When you get owned by a noob, that's even more embarrassing. Uh, all right, look at this. Now we got this going. Pow! There's some coconuts and bottles there. I see you over here. Don't think I don't see your little thing here. Uh, and now what we can do is put these out here like that and create ourselves a little bit of a path. Yeah, yeah. We know what to do now. We know what to do. Oh, and look at that big turtle titan out there. Look at him. See him? He's massive, everybody. Absolutely humongous. Uh, yeah, we don't want to go, we don't want to go mess with him. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to find what we can find in these crates. Oh, story of my life, everybody. Inventory full. All right, where's this guy at? Where's this guy go? I already lost him. I already lost where he was. All right, see, I went off and was looking at the thing. I've lost the dude. Let's find the dude. Where'd you go, dude? Man, my camera seems to be rotating up a little bit. Maybe that's just my mouse sensitivity. 
Uh, my mouse is set to super sensitive, so when I'm playing Fallout 76, I boom. <laughs> Zap people if I need to. Where is this guy? He is uh, the flag, I think, right here. We fall down in a hole. I don't know where the heck you went. I don't know. I'm going to get some more loot. Uh, oh, I got my homesteading up. There he is. All right. Let's talk to the guy. Uh, we were able to find the supplies, cut down the bushes, cut down bushes to get berries uh, to eat, and hit the palm trees to knock down the coconuts to drink. Come back once you've gathered supplies and have eaten and drink some. Oh, I got to eat and drink some first. All right, hold up. Five uh, and two. Aha! Mission complete. There we go. Uh, uh, cut down the berries and get the bushes, blah, 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 blah. Come back. Yes, we've done it. Not, uh, the most gourmet thing in the world, but it's enough to keep you going. Now, uh, it looks like you could use some more inventory space. Here's a, uh, small pouch, uh, that should help you along the way. Now, let's get to work. Okay, hold on. Let's get this pouch. Uh, we're gonna have to drop some dead rats. How do we drop them? Right click. Or did I eat them? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, you could throw dead rats! I didn't know you could do that. What did they add that? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I mean, you just take them and throw them. Uh, all right, right click that. And you can see now we've got uh, more room here. We've got a little pouch uh, for us to use. That's funny. I did not know you could throw those. Uh, see, always good to do another playthrough. You learn new stuff, right? You learn a whole new stuff uh, in there as well. All right, so a place to work. My research says the relic will be burned at uh, a ruin site uh, made of Titan Stone. The Titan Stone ruins. Titan Stone is unbreakable, but that's okay. We won't need to. Treasures like this one were blocked by the ancients. We will need to prepare before we seek the treasure at the Titan Stone ruin. All right, click OK. Uh, first, we need to build a builder's bench. All right, builder's bench it is, bro. Hiya. Oh, a little Q does kicking. Uh, builder's bitch. What do we need? We need sticks, which we got, and then seagrass, which we can get out here. But we got a bunch of stuff on us here. Let's go ahead and get this seagrass first. Man, tons of it over here. Yeah, lots and lots of seagrass. You want to get it before the tide comes in, too. And then also get enough of it so it's just in that slot. Like that. Are we good? Are we good? Oh, wait. Uh, I think I needed the recipe. You give me the recipe? Uh, go forward. There we go. Uh, I think I need the recipe for it. I think I should talk to him a little more. I got ahead of it. Yeah. Uh, were you able to build a good right in order to create one refined crystals? Uh, you can craft it from a uh, basement of matter. Once you've crafted it, you can place it by pressing... The button while it's in your inventory. No, I have not done it yet. And then, why can't I build it? Uh, unlock by crab shell axe. So I have to make the crab shell axe first. Okay. Uh, let's eat that coconut. And we got to get ourselves a little crabby. Bow! 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 Pow! 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 pow. Pew! Pew! There we go. All right. Now we got it unlocked. Uh, to make the crab shell axe, now we did the crab shell axe. Now we need more seagrass. Uh, and again, we'll get our crab shell axe out. Get some more seagrass. Now, Kidoki. Now, you don't want to build too far down, again, because the uh, the shoreline comes up. Uh, I'm going to try to build right by this guy. Where'd he go? This guy's an elusive dude. All right, he's down there. Okay, so he's going to be chilling out here. Let's go ahead and make our base uh, up here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and start with a nice builder's bench. And then start right there. Uh, we also probably want to start uh, by going over here and trying to make ourselves... One of these uh, simple chests here. I wonder if we can do that yet. Uh, oh, God, I always forget what menu it's in. This one. 
uh, wood crate. And so we need sticks and we need seagrass. Sticks we can do. Now, the cool thing is once you have this tool, boom, you're hitting a whole bunch of stuff at once. So we can chop stuff down. Get a ton of various resources there. Uh, all at once. And I'm the type of person that would go and uh, just take everything here. But I would literally go and collect every bit of resource everywhere. Uh, and get that going. And then we can maybe make ourselves uh, eventually one of these boxes. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I feel like you want to make one of these boxes as quick as possible. Because your, your inventory gets fat really, really fastly uh, uh, maxed out. Uh, so again, we'll put this... And not too close next to it, a little bit offset. And then now we have a place where we can put all of this various resources uh, that we're picking up. Uh, over there, there we go. So uh, any of the other resources that we didn't get, we can come over here and grab. And we've got plenty. Especially you want to have, uh, you know, your various softwoods. Uh, later on, you get different types of woods, different type of uh, stuff. I highly recommend doing this, right? You try to hit as many objects as you can. Then I'm hitting E like Edward uh, to collect up all of the resources like a zoo. So nice. So about about a Nas right there. Uh, and then just keep stacking here. Now it stacks m much more in the box than it does in your inventory. Uh, so your boxes uh, are your good go-tos. All right, let's talk to the dude. All right, we have a plenty a builder's bench. Yes, you'll you'll need one in order to create the refined yellow crystals. Remember, once you have the resource, you can craft it from the base member. Once it's crafted, you can place it on uh, by pressing the use button while it is selected in your inventory, or I just put it in the bar. Uh, great. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff uh, you can build from the builder's bench, including more advanced benches. Make sure to look through the different pages to see what you can build. Now to the real magic or crystals in this case. Great. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to need to uh, need to craft a few refined crystals. The ancients who built the ruins used the water uh, to protect their secrets. The refined yellow crystals will push water the water back so you can find what is buried there. All right. Refined yellow crystals can be crafted in the builder's bench on the first page of the table's book recipe. Okay. All of the resources uh, you need uh, for both are on the island. Uh, you can break the crystals found uh, around the shore and find glass bottles washed up all along the shore. We already found a few glass bottles. Okay, so now we need to find some yellow crystals. I see one right over here. Now, see, it's repelling the water there. The second you take this out, though, watch what happens to the water. The water starts to not be repelled. Uh, and you'll see the water start to come in. Uh, if you're too close to the water, it'll instantly... Look how, he's, look how it's high-stepping. This is high-stepping stuff. Not quite running. See, there's running. Uh, he was like high-stepping. That's pretty funny. Uh, instead of running. Uh, we got to find some more yellow crystals. Now, I only usually collect what I need. Look at him out there. Look at that giant. You thought that other guy was big. This guy's really massive. Uh, we're trying to find some yellow crystals. I don't see too many over here. There's usually a ton of them on this island. Get some high ground here so we can survey. Oh, yeah. A bunch over there. I think there's one over here, too. I do a lot of running, so it burns up your uh, your water. Big time. Oh, yeah. Grab them quick. Okay. Okay, guy. There we go. Again, watch the water, everybody. See the water coming in? And grab it quick. And then the water envelops you. Just so cool. So incredibly cool. Look, see all the water back here now? I'm like really deep in the water. Where before there I was in the shallows. Uh, I love that about this game. See, look at this one. This one's really repelling the water. And right before you're about to break it, 
Make sure to hit E to grab those ones that are getting away. Hit E a whole bunch before it pushes you up to the top and then there at the bottom and then you don't get uh, the resources. All right, I think we got enough crystals. Now I also look for these boxes. These boxes are easy ways to get loot. Like bam. These guys drop a bunch of stuff. What do you drop there? Oh, fine sand. No, oh, give me my loot back. Now, the tide will actually take your loot. Uh, so make sure to grab that loot right away. All right, and this guy is acting like my uh, center of where my base should be. Where is he? This way. Like underwater or something right now. Now he's over here. So thirsty. No worries. We got this. We got this. We got uh, anything here? Ah, nice water bottle ought to get us going. Uh, another water over here. That's uh, plus 50 water. And then we can eat a bunch of berries. Uh, let's put this in here. Uh, take the berries out. There we go. Plus hunger, 100%. Uh, eat those berries for now. Later on, you want to definitely uh, cook your food. Uh, so I'm just going to right-click all of this to try to get as much as I can into that box. Uh, now we need sticks and stea grass to make another box. Because, uh, again, you definitely want to stock up on some boxes. Uh, this game, you're going to uh, absolutely uh, uh, run out of space. And I like to separate these a little bit because sometimes they're a little awkward when they're real close to each other. Like that. And then, again, all this other stuff. Into this one because uh, if it won't go in here, that means that uh, the stuff in here is not the same as the stuff that's in here. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take all from this one and just double check by right clicking. I kind of feel like some of that stuff could go in there. There we go, yeah. And then we'll put all this in this one. And eventually, you can sort it by this is all wood and that's all this and that's all that. Uh, but I highly recommend uh, putting that stuff in there. Uh, let's have another water. Over there, get that hydration up. Put that in there, put that in there. Okay. Uh, oh, and I need the, the empty bottles. And I need the shards. So I can't remember what shard it is. I think it might be the big shard. Yeah, big, or no, it's little shards, little shards. Okay, so now we make the refined yellow crystal thingy. Uh, and let's go talk to the guy and see what the quest is again. Uh, to craft yellow crystals, uh, we're going to need at least two of them to push the water back. Uh, you can craft the thing. Oh, I need to make two of them over here at the bench. Okay, what else we need? We need a uh, little bit more yellow shards. Not quite enough. All right, let's go find some more yellow shards. Now, at nighttime, this is way easier, right? Look at this. They just glow out in the middle of the distance here. The water's at low tide right now, so best grab it quick before it comes up. It'd be nice if you could hold the mouse button down, too, instead of having to hit it every single time. Uh, that would be nice. Okay, now I got two of them. Let's go talk to dude. Aha, mission complete. Uh, the crystals. We're going to need at least two of them. You can find. Yes, I did that. Great. You were able to find the crystals. Crystals can be found on most islands, but some islands only have specific resources. Make sure you travel to the different islands to see what resources they have. It looks like we're all ready. Uh, talk to me again uh, when you're ready to head out. I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, now, take my treasure map and shovel. If you use the treasure map, you can see where I think the relic is buried. Uh, when you get there, 
Uh, you'll need to use a shovel to dig up whatever is buried there. Be careful, there are more dangerous dangers than just water lurking about. Okay. Now, we got the treasure map. We can right-click on it. It's going to tell me right over there on the uh, northern side of the island uh, is where we want to go. And then we'll go ahead and look at where we're at. And so we're facing in the opposite direction that we want to go. We want to go this way. See, the little uh, the little arrow thing, the you know, it's round on the back, but then it comes through at a point, and wherever that point is uh, going, then that's where you know uh, you need to go. Uh, so let's go this way. I could have already saw this because I saw it before. And again, look how barren it gets. And then all of a sudden, all the water will come in here and the water will fill up in here. I think that's pretty neat. And I think it's purposely sending me over here just so I have to take on this pirate guy. Uh, and he didn't really have that much loot. I think he could have way more loot. Uh, oh, he's, that's cooked meat, though. That's good loot. Uh, but you can use his fire pit. You can also, by the way... Uh, later on, you can get a, a thing that you can decommission all of his stuff and take it down and then make your own, uh, which I think is pretty cool. All right, Titanstone Ruins, here it is. Got a big X right there. Oops. Now, what we need to do, everybody, is we need to take this, uh, this thing, this bottle, a little glowy bottle that we made, and then we're going to throw it down in there in water. Isn't that neat? And it pushes the water uh, back and out of there. Uh, so let's get our uh, shovel, and then we'll dig it up. There we go. Titan Relic. We got it. Uh, we out of there. Now, you also have uh, attribute points uh, that you can put in there, uh, up here in your stats. Uh, I like to... Ah, look out, spiders! Take that, you little spideys. Yikes. Okay. Um, that's why you want to have your uh, items, these uh, kind of items, in your bar. So you can switch between your shovel and then back to your uh, uh, your axe uh, in the emergencies like that. Uh, let's go see what's in this little house here. Oh, okay, that's where we've already been. We went with the Titan Relic there. Uh, look at him out there. He's a big boy, isn't he? He's definitely a big boy. Now, eventually, this will wear off, too. Uh, and this water will then uh, close back in. I see you, Spidey. You got some spider webs you want to give me. Lots of spiders over here. Creepy crawly spideys. Uh, all right. I see a chest right there. Let's go check that out. Or the water comes back in again. Let's grab it. What do we got? Oh, yeah. We'll take that. Take all. Uh, take of those things. Now, the gems are like the uh, monetary uh, rewards in the game, right? They're like your currency. Uh, so you definitely want to uh, pick up as much gems as you can. Uh, and then later on, I found that there's vendors that you could buy stuff from uh, using those gems. And let's head back over here. Oh, let's actually do this one first uh, and put all this stuff away in there. Uh, we don't want to put the relic away. Where's our relic? Did we not pick up the relic? Uh-oh. We may have forgot the relic. We were overburdened. Note bottle. Your treasure map. Yeah, we left the relic back there. Oh, man. Let's go. Oh, look, see, it's starting to fill back in again. Not good if you leave the relic. Hmm. No, I don't see it. I think I picked it up. I didn't see it in my inventory, though. Let's 
Can't resist the loot. Kill him this way so he doesn't fly into the ocean. There's a lot of little spideys out here. I used to be where the Titan Relic would go in your inventory uh, as an item, uh, but maybe it didn't go in my inventory as an item. Go back and talk to the dude. Oh, I should have put some points into uh, running. Uh, hold on. Let's uh, put in endure, uh, agility. Increase your max sprint time. Yes. I just put them all into agility. Yeah, I may. Uh, I put in agility because I run. You run a lot in this game. You run a lot from here to there and everywhere. Uh, so let's run over here. Die, chicken. Where are you going? Where are you going? So much loot there. Hold on, we gotta go offload some more loot. So I might have put it somewhere in here and maybe I just didn't see it. Uh, let's right click all this in. See, first you wanna check your chest that you already have stuff in and see if that goes in there. Uh, and then go to your other chest here and see if you can squeeze some stuff into there. Uh, yeah, I don't see the relic in there anymore. Huh, huh. Uh, let's go talk to the dude and see if we, if he, uh, says, hey, yeah, I got it done. Did you find the Titan Relic yet? Yes. Uh, they're around here someplace. Yes, I found it. You're back. I was worried the Titan might have killed you, uh, when I saw it attack. Did you, uh, what did you find? Oh my, this is incredible. I've never seen a Titan Relic before. Whoa, hmm. Uh, I need to, uh, take this Titan Relic to my brother's shoe. Uh, he'll be on the large island around the Titan Stone Ruins on that island. Yeah? Uh, to get off this island, normally uh, you would use your boat, but you don't have a boat, so you'll need to build a flare to call a trader to the island. Uh, they will be more than happy to transport you to the large island for a price. Agreed. Here, I'll give you the blueprint and teach you how to make a flare. Uh, you should find it in your base crafts after you learn it. Uh, gather supplies from around the island to create a flare from your base crafts. Good luck. All right. Thanks, bro. Thanks, brah. Uh, all right, so we need... Oh, there it is. It's in Quest Relic Items uh, right here. So it's no longer in your inventory. It's over here in Quest Items. Oh, that's a good change. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do a battle. To battle! All right, let's also see how much time I got left. All right, so we'll do... Uh, we'll try to do one more battle here, everybody. Um, and then I got to go uh, do some laundry. Some laundry. 76 units. <laughs> the number 76 comes up a lot. Whoa, 128 is what we're taking on. Uh, wow. All right, look at that epic battle going on there. You guys are missing out. If you're not battling with us right now, you're missing out. This is epic right here. Wow, look at that. I'm right in the middle of it, taking damage for you guys. Taking a beating, but that's what my job is. I'm a tank. My job is to get brutalized. Yeah, Rotisserie G bringing in the epic healer as well. The man is also with another epic. Akia with an epic. Uh, Lord Anubis and Paul all rocking the epics as well. Uh, and we did the epic win right there. Right there. Olaf, Subi, and Akia getting the love. Uh, and, uh, Akinia, I'm gonna guess, uh, with 23 kills is our MVP. Nice job. Nice job there. All right, we got you some loot. Now, next time we come back, we're gonna try to get this blue chest. It's kind of a bummer to stop on the blue chest, but, uh, I got IRL stuff to do here, everybody. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and check out some more breakwaters. Let's go. All right, everybody. Now, I wanted to get to the flying boat. Um, but, uh, I don't think we're gonna get the flying boat today, but don't worry, we're gonna be playing this, uh, each week, uh, on Thursdays, 
Uh, we're going to try to get to that flying boat. We're going to try to use that stone stuff. But definitely, uh, that's different with the uh, random spawn of the pirates. Uh, that's super useful. Oh, we got we to read our blueprint. Uh, enter. Oh, we already, we already learned that. We already know it. Okay. No. All right. We got to make uh, maybe one more box here before we go. Uh, so we'll have plenty of boxes to store all this stuff. Now, normally you just throw this stuff on the ground. I've done that in the past. Uh, probably not the best idea, especially since the water will come uh, and then drag it off. Oh, look, see all the water filled in? Uh, it'll come and grab all your resources and drag them out into the sea. Uh, so let's put our dead turkeys away and our blueprints. Uh, you want to keep your tools on you so you have your shovel uh, and your other one. Now, we can actually do some upgrades uh, for our stuff, right? We can uh, add a bunch uh, more stuff here. Uh, we can also get the steel crate once we find some metal. Uh, get that going. I strongly suggest to start working on your other stuff here. Uh, your stone axes, eventually your iron axes, all of this stuff. This stuff's really uh, helpful. Uh, also, your backpack's a really good one to work on. Right now, we've got uh, basically a little pouch uh, that we're using. Uh, net bag is going to be plus seven. This one right here is plus four. So we do a nut bag, and then once you un once you make one of these, it then unlocks the next thing, and then you make that, and unlocks the next thing, and so on and so forth uh, as you do it. Now, of course, the backpack gives you plus 21 slots, uh, which is amazing, and this one gives you 28 uh, slots, so very nice. Uh, we'll come back, work on that. We can also work on our leaf hat, and yeah, we might be able to do that now. Do we have enough for that? We do not. We only have four. All right. Well, let's save that. And again, we'll come back uh, next time uh, and work on some more of this. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to my office, show you guys some love, and then uh, we'll be back tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go. Man, that game is super fun, everybody. I, I don't know about you guys. It just has all the right elements, uh, right? And even in early access, you can see the potential of the game. Uh, that's what I love about it. Uh, let's give you guys some love. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 caps for getting on the Kill Me Love Train today. Also, if you guys want to know my schedule, I stream Tuesday through uh, Thursday, 1 p.m. and at 10 p.m. That's two streams per day. And then, of course, on Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find this on all my social media as well, or you can just go exclamation schedule in there. So you go and pop over to my social media. Check out youtube.com slash kismetbp. It's very easy. You just follow the link right over there. It's free. Hit that subscribe. Uh, hit those like buttons on those videos it does help a lot pop on over to twitter.com slash kids uh and show some love over there and if you are watching this in the future on youtube thank you very much for watching this video make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe hit that like button uh and help me out on those social medias now uh pop on over to discord.gg and kismet.gg uh that's my discord and of course my website you can check out all the stuff behind the scenes you can say hello to my community i can go over there and post your awesome builds maybe you're playing some breakwaters so you build a big old giant base and you want to show it off, we want to see it. We want to see it. Go over there, read the rules, hit that green check mark so you can have access to the other sections, and then go in there and post your giant, awesome mega bills, all right? Now, if you want to help the stream, you want to go above and beyond, say, Kidman, I love uh, all the stuff you're doing here in the stream. I uh, want to support those videos, support the stream. Pop on over to patreon.com slash Kismet. That's me, K-I-S-M-E-T. Uh, you can pop over there. Even a $5 support uh, does help the stream tremendously. Know that 95% of your support does go right back in the stream. 5% goes to PayPal fees and zero of it goes to me. I put it all in the form of giveaways and other fun stuff that we do here, uh, graphics and things like that we do here in the stream. So it all goes right back into it. Now, uh, once again, the best stream ever. I think so too, JC Hunter. I think so, absolutely. Now, big thanks to my mods, uh, JC Hunter, and also Caveman Mox for uh, watching his back as well. Uh, and we'll see you guys tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, we forgot to Send that out. There we go. Uh, see you guys tonight at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some more Planet Crafter at a mega level. We're crushing it. Uh, let's go to it. See you all next time. Bye. Hi, this is Norver. Thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button. We'll see you all next time. Bye.
Hey, thanks for watching this video. Help support more videos just like this one and keep the Kismet love train a going by dropping by my Patreon and showing your support. Big thanks going out to Resident Spike, River Dog, Rotisserie G, JC Hunter, AMZ, and Carlos. Click to watch more videos and I'll see you next time.